There's a school of thought that says you should shoot at a lower resolution and lower quality than the best settings that your digital camera supports. That way, you end up with smaller image files so that you can shoot more images to a single memory card. This school of thought is so pervasive that many digital cameras are factory set to shoot lower quality images than the camera actually supports. This school of thought, though, is very, very bad. If you want to shoot more images, buy more memory cards. Otherwise, you should always, and without exception, shoot the highest quality photographs that you possibly can. There's two reasons for this. First, your image might be crooked, which means you'll need to rotate it so that it's plumb. But pixels are always squares, and a square can't be rotated and remain a square. So when you straighten an image, Photoshop has to recalculate every single pixel. Rewriting pixels is a so-called destructive modification. I don't mean that you destroy the image, I mean that you have to redraw the image. And so, garbage in, garbage out, but high quality in, high quality out. Second, you may also want to crop the image, which is to say reduce its size to hone in on a particular detail. If you have a lot of pixels in the first place, then you stand a chance of having a lot of pixels left when you crop the image. This is the new school. Here's how to crop and straighten images as non-destructively as possible inside Photoshop.